Formula One racing fuels are closely aligned to those developed for road cars. But for Shell, supplying Ferrari isn't just a matter of sending a tanker full of V-Power to the next stop on the Grand Prix calendar. The logistics of fuel supply are one thing, maximizing its performance quite another. We're running a continuous R&D program. It's about 18,000 man hours per year of R&D being invested into developing our fuels and our oils. That never stops. I think the investment and the, the research that Shell is, is doing at the moment for Formula One is something unique. We try to change the fuel whenever we've got a step change in performance. The fuel is a, is a very important part inside the engine and our Shell V-Power you know, makes uh, our engine really strong. New fuels go through a rigorous development and testing process, but once they pass, it's all systems go. Normally the way we are proceeding with Shell is that they send us a few candidates to be tested. We make sure that they will get the maximum performance, to make sure that reliability is, is all right. Our objective normally is each four or five races to have a new product available. Shell could design a fuel to meet the individual demands of every racetrack, but that would make life difficult for Ferrari. And actually, there's no need because our formulation team designed a fuel which gives the responsiveness, it gives the power, and it gives the protection at hotter temperatures. And so it's actually suitable for every single racetrack. The constant development of the race fuels and lubricants requires that Shell's supply chain not only gets them to the racetrack on time, but they're also blended accurately. We actually take samples from the drums to ensure that the product we are sending matches that that was approved. They're then shipped out of Thornton to the races around the world. In Europe, it goes in one of our trucks. My name is Bruce Davies. And we have an absolutely wonderful truck driver called Bruce. And I drive the Shell fuel truck. Who comes to the UK, collects the fuel and takes it all over Europe for us. We've never been late. When I left Valencia last year at three in the morning, had a tire blowout. Within three hours, the whole lot was fixed and was back on the road. When we go to the races outside of Europe, then it goes in, in smaller drums and it goes on aeroplanes. The fuels for the flyaway races is, are shipped out about four weeks before the race to get the fuels it cleared through customs so it can be some tight deadlines. If you'd been here last week, you wouldn't have got any of our time. We've been pushing it to the edge harder this season than ever before.